An investor has found himself in a standoff with actor Kevin Spacey, who's reportedly refusing to vacate his luxurious Baltimore home after it was sold in a foreclosure auction for $3.24 million. Investor Sam Asghari purchased the expansive waterfront property at a bargain price during an auction at Baltimore Circuit Court. Considering Spacey bought the home for $5.65 million in 2017. However, what initially appeared to be a smooth transaction has turned into a major issue as Mr. Spacey has allegedly refused to surrender the property. The 9,000 square foot residence, which sits on a pier over the Patapsco River, served as Spacey's primary residence during his challenging period after being dismissed from the Netflix series House of Cards following multiple assault allegations. A real estate investor recently bought Kevin Spacey's waterfront Baltimore mansion at auction for a bargain price of $3.24 million. However, he is now facing an unexpected challenge with Mr. Spacey refusing to leave the home. The investor and new owner, Sam Asghari, explained that he has been negotiating with Spacey's legal team in an effort to persuade the actor to move out. Asghari said, right now he's refusing to leave. He's asked Asking for six months to stay in the property without paying anything. A biomedical engineer turned real estate investor, Asgari, gained attention earlier this year for purchasing the childhood home of John Hopkins in Anne Arundel County. However, since purchasing Kevin Spacey's house almost three weeks ago, Asgari has been unable to take possession of the property despite paying a $100,000 deposit required by the auction terms. This 9,000 square foot house, which sits on a pier extending into the river from Federal Hill, has been described as Baltimore's most extraordinary home. Asgari has indicated that he may resell the property. His winning bid of $3.24 million was a significant discount from the $5.65 million Spacey paid for the home seven years back. Spacey purchased the house while filming the Netflix political drama House of Cards, and it remained his primary residence after his firing from the show following allegations of assault. In an interview with Pierce Morgan, Spacey became emotional while discussing the loss of his home, saying, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to live now. Spacey also revealed that he's millions of dollars in debt, unable to pay his legal bills, and has been moving his belongings into storage. A debt collection agency filed a foreclosure case against Spacey in April 2022. Despite participating in mediation at least twice, his attorneys were unable to prevent the sale. Court records show that Spacey's monthly mortgage payments were over 20K, but he fell behind after losing his gig on House of Cards. I mean, can you blame him? After being innocent in one case, a London jury acquitted Spacey of assault in another case. The actor told jurors that he had been out of work for six years since the first allegations were made against him. In Baltimore, Spacey has kept a pretty low profile, though he has been occasionally recognized while walking his dog or dining at the Sagamore Pendry Hotel. Before his Baltimore mansion, years ago, Kevin Spacey resided in a 1.1 acre estate in the Los Feliz area of California, which property records show he purchased in late 1987 for about $2.1 million. A notoriously private individual, Kevin never once invited the press or fans into his home. So what we know about his former mansion is mostly from exterior pics. Kevin's meticulously maintained residence, constructed in the 1920s, was designed in the style of a faux-timbered English Tudor, and was nearly concealed behind a massive gate and thick hedges. Situated on a high hill, it offered remarkable views of Los Angeles. The fully landscaped grounds included a tree-shaded red brick driveway, leading to a large motor court. The backyard featured a series of terraces overlooking mature gardens and flat lawns, along with an oval-shaped swimming pool. Inside, the home was believed to have over 6,500 square feet of space with five bedrooms and four baths. It reportedly kept much of its original architecture, detailing from the early 20th century, mainly in the entrance hall and the formal living room. 
However, by the time Kevin moved out in 2017, much of the house was said to require significant renovation. Kevin quietly listed his longtime home in 2015 with an asking price of around $15 million. Looking at Kevin's current home in Baltimore, Maryland, which he refuses to move out of, it was sold in a foreclosure auction for $3.24 million. Spacey originally purchased the home for $5.65 million in 2017, making investor Sam Asghari's purchase a significant bargain, until these complications arose. The five-level, 9,000-square-foot residence is located at the end of a pier, extending into the harbor within the exclusive gated pier homes at Harborview Community. This unique property is a combo of two townhouses and both six bedrooms, seven full baths, and three half baths. There's a stunning chef's kitchen, which is fully equipped, as well as a movie theater and an elevator to access the many levels. Additional features include a sauna and a billiards room. The house also offers multiple decks, including a remarkable 76-foot rooftop deck with a spa. A four-car garage completes the property. According to the auction site, the home was to be sold in as-is condition with no warranty of any kind. However, it's not confirmed whether any of the furniture shown in the photos will be included in the sale of the home. The interior features wood floors throughout, which adds to the property's timeless appeal, a design choice that's likely to support its resale value. The rooftop terrace overlooks the inner harbor, making for some amazing views. It was also stated that the home could easily entertain 300 people, but it's unlikely that Spacey has been having many guests recently. For today, that's going to bring us to the end of our Kevin Spacey house tour. Thank you all for watching. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!